always, always remember, start up a recording session with some hydration. <laughs> Welcome back to Gator Snapper playthrough of Tales of Arise. Another thing I didn't realize until uh, I was recording this, the last time I was recording Tales of Arise, I only had one fucking monitor. Okay, yeah. Fucking Kisara, you're looking a little jumpy, jeez. You're looking, like, towards where your blind spot is, too, so yeah, I'd be a little concerned, too. But yeah, no, last time I recorded, I didn't even have two monitors. It's so much easier now. It used to be I always had to use my fucking phone as a timer, now I can just turn my head, like, a quarter to the right, and there you go, I see how long I've been recording for. Cool. It's so nice and convenient. Damn, so much has changed since... I wish I could, like, kind of take a... I wish I had, like, a snapshot in my mind of like where I was exactly the last time I was recording Tales of Arise and be like, oh yeah, that was what was going on. Honestly, that is, I, you know, I bet I could figure it out generally just by listening to the last episode. Cause like, there's like, it's weird. Cause it's not like I would have actually like said anything uh, specific about like where I was at life wise, but I could, I feel like I could just remember just by hearing the shit i talked about and like the general vibe i'm getting from myself me like oh yeah that's what was going on in my life she's fucking pickle factory nonsense i bet maybe that's the other thing it's just so easy because it's all the same shit anyways what the that Kelzelik? did he really manage to deploy these barriers inside the palace guess that means we're on the right track to finding him is there any way we can get rid of these? Sorry, I can't read my name. I'm just so generic. If memory serves, there's a release mechanism somewhere. My first guess would be inside his personal office. Wow, I remember when I used to remember this map, and now I don't. Oh yeah, why can't he? Uh, or is this the type that will, like, rip his hand off? Oh. Oh, it's not like it's gonna melt his hand? What? But Law, you... Fucking punch through? Like, I know a like, cannonball is like a heavy, hard object, but still, like, I don't know. I feel like Law's punched, like, through things harder than what a cannonball could get through. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. Him with, like, the invisible Zugwa, that's just another cool thing where it's like, I'd want that to be, like, my class. I'd want to be the beast teamer. I'd love that. Mm, something funky, something stinky. Honestly, that would probably give away the invisible Zuko really easily, just how stanky it is. Yeah, that's right, you heard her. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna have a real hard time very <laughs> fucking noticing. I also just realized that it's like fucking the new Predator movie. That's what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with the first Predator. Dude, I've heard, I haven't seen it, but I've heard so many good things about that movie. It's made me really want to watch it. Those guys just straight up ignored me. Damn, those must be the good Renans. Uh, but yeah, no, the fucking new pr uh, Prey? Prey has been so good. Apparently a lot of people are complaining about it for like, you know, the typical reasons where they're like, um, how did one woman, uh, one Native American woman defeat the Predator? That doesn't make any sense. He's wiped out, like, whole platoons and gangs. And then it's like, you know, pretty sure the way those movies end is that, uh, the one guy always winds up beating the fucking alien. So, I think it's fine. I think it still makes sense. Yeah, I think it, everything checks out. Yeah, how about that? What a weird surprise. And it's like the same shit too, where it's like, it's not like Arnold Schwarzenegger challenged it to a fucking arm wrestling contest and beat it. It's like, he fucking did some shenanigans and that's how he won his fight. Like he fucking like covered himself in mud and then shot a bunch of like flaming arrows all goofily at it. I'm pretty sure this lady uh, like does something very similar where she just uses like, she uses her brain. That's generally what all the fucking like predator movies is, have always been about pretty much hasn't it it's been like yeah it's like they're they're fucking using their brains over the predators like you know natural superiority and like everything else so yeah it's like i don't fucking know i don't see what the complaints are about it seems pretty on brand for predator movies and honestly the movie itself i've just heard is just so fucking solid i saw one scene of it where the one native american dude was fucking like he had one fucking arrow and he kept shooting the predator and like 
like jumping between its legs ripping the arrow out and just kept doing it like that is like that is such a cool looking fight scene i was like damn i really need to watch this movie now damn <laughs> fucking kisara's giving them shit that would like hurt my feelings hearing somebody say that if i like i like if i was like posted up with my fellow guardsmen and we we're just like ah oh, yeah we're like you know we're like the fucking military, where, you know, we've had training and everything, like, we've we've suppressed riots before. And then this lady shows up and she's just like, really, this is all you guys got? I, I would be demoralized. I'd be like, fuck, man, she must be really fucking tough. I gotta fucking, I'm, I gotta reevaluate my life. I gotta train on a mountain or some shit. What, the keen giga fang? You bet your fucking sweet ass you can, Law. You can make all sorts of things with the keen giga fang. I'm a personal fan of making a chicken tuscan recipe with a uh, keen giga fang, if I must say so myself. I actually did make a, or I don't know why I called it chicken tuscan, <laughs> but I made tuscan chicken the other day with my fucking crock pot, and it was so good. Honestly, that's just what I'm, like, I've been doing meal prep uh, recipes recently, all with, like, crock pots, because it's so easy. That's the one thing I recommend to anybody like if you're gonna fucking like you like start cooking shit in your life get a crock pot it's so easy you don't even need to fucking like put work into it. it's like you chop up your shit you measure out your ingredients you throw in the crock pot and you forget about it cooks itself it's so great and then if you have a big enough fridge you just fucking throw the whole crock pot in the fridge and you just like pull servings from it as needed it's so great although of course then it becomes much harder to clean but that's why you also buy a little something called a scrub daddy that's right you heard it here i endorse scrub daddy it is honestly one of the best fucking like scrubby sponge brush things i've ever had the pleasure of using it's so fucking useful it like it's it's just solid i really like it holds together well it actually holds up it holds up to all the hype. I didn't believe in it at first until I used it while I was in Virginia at my friend Ryan's house. And yeah, it's like, wow, this shit fucking works. It's so good. And there we go. That's it. That's my endorsement for Scrub Daddy. I expect payment in some form, one way or another. One day, Scrub Daddy. You know. You know the type of payment I want, Scrub Daddy. <laughs> that is actually the most awkward part. Just that it's called Scrub Daddy. <laughs> like the hardest way to like that's the hardest thing about trying to sell it to like your friends where it's like yeah like i've been really looking for something better than just like you know the back end of a fucking uh like uh sponge and i'm just like well let me tell you about scrub daddy and they're like ew no fuck off and i'm like uh wait no please i swear i've got good ideas aha uh -huh. big men Guarding the room, of course, I see. Why do you look so top heavy why did they need to have pauldrons that big I guess it really could deflect a bullet, like, if they're aiming at their heads from the side. But then they got nothing for the back. Oh, I guess, you know what? The back of, like, the back neck piece of armor, I feel like, should always be fairly well armored up. Because, you know, you don't want someone chopping your head off from behind. And, you know, like, it's less armored up front and there's nothing, no cod piece protection. Jeez, that's unfortunate. But, you know, you see where it's coming from. So it's like, yeah, you can defend. Oh, actually, with the lack of a cod piece, someone could just kick you from behind with, like, a sharp object. Like a knife on their boot, and they'd get you right in your goocher. Yeah, that wouldn't work out too well. These guys are just like, you really aren't supposed to be here. Go away. Uh, that was it. I love it when they give me those little lines of dialogue. What is... Wh why, actually? Why do we have to have little lines of dialogue of something like that? Where it's just like, hey, you're not supposed to be here. And then it just immediately goes in conflict. It's like, well, obviously I'm not supposed to be here. I'm the fucking invading body right now. I mean, technically this is our castle. But you know what? Like, it's... Yeah, fuck you. Like, I'm the invader here. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, hey. Looks like there's nothing to find here. Shion. Did I get her name right before? I was calling her Sheena, but I think I called her Shion at one point, right? Did I? I don't know. Shino? Did I call her Shino? Ah, oh, whatever. Guess that makes this a bust. Got any other ideas about places we could check? Like your bust? Ugh. Fuck you, Alfin. If it's not in his office and I check the barracks or maybe even the meeting room. Got it. Let's comb through both of those places and see what we come up with. Hell yeah, Alfin. I love your can-do attitude, you fucking bland man. Wait, where am I going again? I was so busy reading the lines I wasn't paying attention to them. Um, find the really- oh god, the, the di- ugh. It doesn't even give me good advice in the fucking quest guide. Oh no, should I go to the Lord Quarters? Quarters? The meeting room, maybe? I'll go to the Lord Quarters. Actually, no, all I have to do is find which room has two guards posted outside uh, outside of it. Yeah. 
because they have been spawning that way fairly regularly, right? Am I... I'm understanding that right, right? Right, right? Yeah. Oh boy, I sure hope something's in here. No. Oh wait, what's this? What does it say? There's writing scribbled in the margins. Oh yes, yes. In the event of emergency, you are to disengage with barriers and go provide support. You know which room the release mechanism is. Do not forget to retrieve the key from the office. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But didn't we come from the office? Ah, fuck. I mean, is it not enough for them to go on? Or is it not enough for me to go on? Because, I mean... Fuck, it really... Hold on. Ah, shit. This objective is still dog shit. I mean, it really makes it sound like... You know, I got the key... And they said go into the office. Is there another office? There's only one office. Why don't I just check the office again? You know, double double make sure. Because I don't know, am I supposed to find some more information? Or is it just like, you know, they're stupid, but I understand it. I can check every room. That's not so hard. I can manage that. They call me the room checker. Oh, hey, I found a cutscene by mistake. In the guard room. Hello. These are the guards' personal quarters. If you need anything, to feel free to take it. Isn't that theft? These are still your people. Uh, quarters are divided between men and women. We're standing in the women's room now. I can take their panties. Oh, gotcha. Better uh, be careful not to disturb too much while I'm here then, huh? Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, it's okay. Kisara is like the classic anime style, um, fucking, what is it? Prep, not prep student. Who, who are the ones in the anime? Who, I sound like an old man. Who are those ones in the anime that are always, you know, beating up those ne'er-do-wells that are not listening to the rules? It's like prep students all I have in my head now. Shit. Oh yeah, Zephyr was a character. I need to rewatch the original, uh, like, episodes I recorded of this. So that I can, like, you know, reacquaint myself and relive uh, the experience of <laughs> playing Tales of Arise. Being so excited for it and be like, oh, I can't wait to beat this game. And then not getting back to it till months later. Wonderful. My war rooms are here. The barracks and the staff quarters. That sounds worth checking out. I bet the staff had planned something, those dirty staff members. Even though I'm pretty sure the staff was entirely, like, fucking Danons. Oh, but there's lots of people in here. That's a good sign, right? That means those dirty Danons were the ones that organized this betrayal on the rest of the Danons. <laughs> Say no more. Alfin's, like, not a bad voice. Uh, like, Well, he's obviously not a bad voice actor, I would say. But there's so many lines he says that just sound so casual when it's such a big action. It's specifically in the fucking, um, what, mix art? Critical arts? Whatever they're fucking called. Oh, hey, a key. Uh, Earth One. Yeah, what? Uh, oh, to the treasury. Ooh, I'm gonna steal all their money. But yeah, no, I just feel like Alfin in those, like, fucking... I don't even know what they're called anymore, but in those art scenes, he really should be saying something a bit more, like, you know angry sounding i don't know shit what's hold on what's this note you found a hastily scrawled note commerce with mahog sar grows more inscrutable by the day what the fuck is a mahog sar we send vast quantities of resources but only receive a pittance of dodgy goods in return is his lordship aware of this yeah what is mahog sar oh so i guess that's uh, maybe the next zone or maybe the last zone? I don't know. Hmm, we'll see. Anyways, let's go rob this fucking treasury. Let's steal all their fucking money. Yeah, what we got? Oh. Hey, everybody. Let's fucking go. Do I have other arts I can equip for ya lady Kisara? I like Guardian Field. I like the healing abilities. But this other fucking spell I have, Flaming Meteor, I just do a bunch of these little dashes and then I... Like, am I sub- wait, oh shit, maybe I should just try hitting it once. It's not just like a dash, because I see it did attacks before. Hmm, huh. I don't know. I still might want to replace it anyways, because it's a little goofy. What do we get, elixir? A cocktail dress? Oh, don't mind if I do. Obviously, this is cool armor for Shion. Nope, oh wait, I'm stupid. Yep, there it is, cocktail dress. If only, if only I could actually see these fucking outfits. I'm sure they would look really fucking cool, but no. This game isn't Monster Hunter. You don't get shit. 
I want to break free. I want to break. Can I change arts from here? I can. It's so wonderful. Uh, ooh, what do I get though? Piercing roar sounds cool. Let's do that. Piercing roar. Uh, oh, it's just as bad. <laughs> it's actually an air launch though, so that's nice. Uh, or may I don't know. He's a big boy. Maybe maybe it is an air launch. I just didn't do good enough here. Let's try it again. It's why is it so hard to aim? It's it feels like it should be literally the easiest thing to aim, and yet and yet no. Literally, the dining hall is the only thing I haven't checked out. There's got to be something in here. If there's not, I'm going to lose my mind. I don't know what else I could possibly do. There's so much loot. What is this? Uh, you'll lose some treasure due to your inventory and or wallet being full. Oh, man. I mean, is it just one peach gel? I'll just leave that be. Was everyone, like, eating peach gels or something? What the fuck? Wait, oh, wait, 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 what is this, what is this? Milk. But no, like, plot? Yo, what the fuck? I had to have. Checked everything else. Why would I skip? I skipped over the barracks? Who told me? Who fucked me on this? I don't know why I asked who told me. Literally no one could have told me. God damn it. Why couldn't I be streaming so that I could blame people for this? God damn it. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Literally the only room that I, I, I thought I had checked it. But I hadn't. The only room left and god forbid if it doesn't have an answer in here i am actually fucked what wait no it actually doesn't have an answer <laughs> wait no no this is supposed to yes okay hold on this might help yes there's writing scribbled in the margins my comrades once you occupy the palace engage with barriers post haste you know which room to leave the release mechanism in return the key to the room to the specified cabinet but find the key in the Adelina palace office so wait so, didn't I get the first key from the office? Hold on, let me look at my map. I did. So, literally both keys were in the same room? Or, I might be misrem like misremembering, but if I am right in my thinking, that's really cheeky. That's a real cheeky fucking thing to do there, game. I can't believe, I can't believe they do this to me. I can't believe they try and fuck me over that hard. So, in the cabinet... In which cabinet? There could be many, or I could not find a single cabinet. Where the fuck? Ah! There we are. It looks like a cabinet specifically for storing keys. A duplicate Lord's Quarters keys. Sweet God, I cannot believe I am such a fool. Alright, well, honestly... Like, so the whole thing here is, like, Law doesn't want to punch open a fucking barrier, which is, like, okay, arguably, I think you've done that before, but, you know, it's fine. But, regardless, the problem here was that a door was locked, and we have someone that can punch open things. I refuse to accept this. Ah, and now they spawn. Now they spawn in my fucking way. Hey, all of you fucking assholes, let's fucking go at it. Why not? Do you think Alfin says that in sex? When, like, he busts a fat nut on, on Shion's breasticles, do you think he says, Consider yourself finished! And then Shion's like, This was almost hot until you said that. And then they never go out again. Alright, what do we got? Another fight? Thank God. It's enough to have those assholes on the outside. What do we have in here? Is that the release mechanism? Or, wait, what's this actually? Hold on, there's a lot of things to look at here. String scores to tug at the heart strings. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's super useful there. What is this? This is, yeah, it's healing light. Okay, yeah, yeah, give me that. Oh, that means we're about to get into the boss fight. Yay! And this is all just music, isn't it? Okay. You'd really think that, like, fucking Dohalim's whole thing would be, like, a musical instrument kind of a weapon. But nope. He just hits people with a pole. Unless it's a rain stick. It's like he beats their asses and then he just, like, slowly turns it over. And it's like, ah, the sound of rain. How refreshing. Finally get rid of the wall. Uh, that's how I feel, Alfin, please. It's like, fuck, I'm so tired of, like, running around all over this fucking big-ass mansion that rich-ass Dol Halim gets to have. Fucking Dol Halim. He gets all the money, too, because he fucking... His domain is literally Earth. He can just pull out fucking gold gems from the fucking dirt. Such a great ability to have. I would love that if, like, my elemental power could be Earth. There's so much good shit you get out of it. Are you supposed to be saying something? I I assume he was too far away. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 
I don't remember ever giving a shit about what you thought. Yeah, yeah, racist piece of shit. Can't believe it. White privileged colonizer. Jeez, yeah, he's a real fucking... He's a real piece of shit. You acted so tolerable before. Yeah. Real piece of shit. Yeah, you're about to get your bones broken by a bunch of Danons. And two Renants, I guess. Yeah. That's right. Really hurt him where it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking make him feel so bad about his, uh, his personality being bland and boring, and he's just like everybody else. I was going to be the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of them. Look how strong I am. I'm so powerful, you can tell by looking at my obviously NPC face. I love that in games. Like, any game, really. Genshin Impact is honestly one of the worst things about it with, like, NPC face. But this guy obviously has NPC face. Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. Yeah, he was kind of, like, lackluster, but you know what? He made sure that Danons didn't get treated like shit, so that kind of makes him pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We force-fed him juicy fruit that dribbled down to his bare chest where we had to lick it off of his pecs and nipples. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, slap his face with a fucking mace. Yeah, bitch. And now he's goo. He's turned into a fucking Neon Genesis reference. Can't believe what you've done. You piece of shit. Feeding people delicious fruit. I love how she's able to fucking, like, pull her weapons out of nowhere. I forget that's, like, specifically a Renin thing, and then she has, like, a weird, like, tack thing. Oh, there it is. The invisible... Is it rolling? No, it's just moving really funky. That's a goofy little boy, isn't it? Oh, he's a lizard boy! I like him! I need to actually look at his face for reference. I need it for art purposes. Oh, he's doing the thing. Oh, there we go. You know, I just realized now, oddly enough, it's been so long and I've only just now realized it. But I've only been playing as Kisara all this time. I need to actually... That's another reason to look back at the old episodes. To be like... Because, like, have I been more consistent in this game than, like, the other tales of games? I've been like, yeah, I'm actually going to play as the other characters. Or was I just like, oh, I really like Kisara. Honestly, I'm at the point now where I do not like Kisara so much. She just feels kind of slow and clunky. I kind of do want to go back to Alfin just because he's so, like, you know, generic and good to play. I think I played as Law for a bit, too, if I remember right. I mean, that's a thing I just I don't remember, so I don't fucking know. <laughs> I love how it keeps turning invisible and teleporting directly behind me. I also like that its whole, like, gimmick of turning invisible is not really all that useful in this fight, and they just use it as a cop-out for it, like, to teleport into random locations. Honestly, I would, like, I never understand why in games they don't actually make something, like, full-blown invisible. I guess, you know, because it wouldn't be fair, but in a situation like this where it's like, it probably doesn't all too much matter if it, like, actually, com like, turns completely invisible. I just think it would be, f like, fuck it. Like, if you're gonna say this is an enemy that turns invisible, it's like, might as well fucking make it actually turn invisible. This guy's literally just teleporting. That's all there is to that. Oh, fuck, he's doing... Oh, I don't have my goo charged up. Oh, no, wait, what are you doing, Runwell? What are you doing? Ah! Oh. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, look at that. Ooh, I've not seen that fucking mystic art. That's pretty sweet. I forget in this game, does, like, do they get multiple mystic arts? That'd be pretty fucking sick. Like, I, because that was just her doing her, um, like, air and lightning, or I guess air and light, uh, mystic art. I'd love to see, like, some other element mystic arts. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe that's also why you get the fucking, um, fucking team combo attacks. I really wish I remembered what it was called. Maybe, is that it? Is it just called a team combo attack? I, I just don't remember. I just don't know. I've been, it's been so long. I've been away for so long. Oh god, and if only What's-Her-Face had some juice right there. That is the biggest downside with, like, her ability, where it's like, 
hey, this enemy's charging up a spell, but it's like, I just used her ability, so like, what do you fucking want me to do about it? Just, And she yells about it, too. She's always like, huh, that's my cue to use my cool ability. It's like, well, you can't, so don't fucking mention it. Fucking bitch. Hell yeah. Cut the fucking lizard to pieces. With a phoenix cyclone, why not? Do it. Oh, okay, I was like, is it running away? But I guess I didn't remember that's how Zoogles died. I didn't remember that they fucking turned into light. Man, you really gotta drop the whole racist talk. Like, what are you gonna do by yourself now, my brother? Oh, I shouldn't call him my brother. Oh, no. The colonizer in me is showing. Mm. Oh. God, even defeated you're being such a fucking asshole. Yeah, honestly. Is he just... Oh, isn't... I think... Is he, like... Yeah, he's gonna work for another lord, I guess. I'm sure that they're gonna win. It's weird how when this, the bad guy starts to, like, realize he's losing, he starts walking around like a little fucking gremlin. And then good old Dolalim showing up out of nowhere to bat away the fruit-cutting knife. Yeah. Where have you been this whole time? I've been training in the mountains, meditating on me being a fucking asshole. Oh, no, he was actually collecting all the fruit. What is a hell again? Oh. Thank God he found it, and I didn't have to worry about finding it. Nice. Brother. Uh, yeah, where'd you get that fruit from? Oh, you know what? I bet he got from another city. Was it maybe Mahogzar? Oh, yeah, it must have been Mahogzar. That's why they brought that whole thing up in the first place. Nice. Mm. Wait, he actually said Mahogzar. Nice. Oh, cool. I didn't expect he was just going to say it. Honestly, that would have been cool if they left that to the player to infer. It's like, it would have been revealed later on eventually, and it'd be like, uh, the player being like, oh, wow, I was right, Mahogzar. I knew it. You already received your punishment. What you mean? You don't get to just decide, like, oh, yeah, I've, I've gotten over all that shit now. That's a cool-looking staff, too. Ganeth Haros. Is Ganeth Haros another place, or is that a person's name? It's so hard to tell in fantasy games. Little fucking gremlin, man. Get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, Kisar is so pretty. It's so unfair. Why is she so hot? I like her more than Shion, and definitely more than Rinwell. I, Rinwell was cute at first, but then I started hearing her talk and the things she talked about. I was like, she's kind of annoying. <laughs> and Shion's just like, Shion's just a pink-haired anime girl. <laughs> yeah. Weren't you kind of skeptical of it to begin with? What are you acting like you have hope? Yeah. Nice. Of course they did. After they were trained and raised to not fucking think the Renans were, like, just superior to them. Of course they kicked their aces. I wonder... <laughs> this is a weird thing to bring up. But I wonder in, like, you know, 500 or 1,000 years, whenever things are kind of, like, you know, normal between... Well, normal. But whenever the Renans have made reparations to the Danans, I wonder if there's going to be weird porn about the Danans and the Renans, where it's like... The f there's like a Renan like what is it called like a Renan I was gonna say midwife you know but just like a rich like Renan wife who's like husband's like you know a big shot like Renan slave owner and she's just like oh oh my I get the vapors whenever I look at that Danon over there mm, lordy yes and then it just turns into hardcore fucking uh huh Hell yeah, Dolim. Thank God you're talking and dr getting over. Like you, you're here to drive away attention from the terrible things that I say. Lenicus? The fuck is a Lenicus? Oh wait, that's the moon, isn't it? Okay, good. <laughs> I can remember this shit. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Live on, dream. Let's fucking go. Okay. I guess Kisar is just going to mope a little bit more. Well, now I'm officially at the point where I stopped playing on my original account. Like, because before... I mean, I got, like, a little further past this. I think I just started leaving the city 
I was on like the route onto the next place, and that's where I stopped because I was like, "No, I've started recording this, and I don't want to spoil it for myself." I, further, I already spoiled so much of it for myself. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, hell yeah! It gives us so much more credibility to have not just two Renans, but one of them being a lord. I remember talking about that, where I was like, "Yeah, it's so crazy that you get like the actual lord in your team." So cool! Hell yeah! I mean, yeah. Uh, you seem like the type you'd be invited to a whole ton of orgies. I think he winds up being, like, really socially... Not awkward, but, like... There's a lot of shit that, like, he just doesn't know because he is spoiled. Like, I think he doesn't know how to dress himself. <laughs> shit like that. He doesn't know how to wipe his own ass, literally. I guess she's not joining the party. It's okay. We got Dolim, who's way cooler. Like, honestly... We got, like, two of the hottest party members from this, like, realm. Honestly, they're really paired off, like, well, I guess. Because, like, Rinwell and Law are both, like, the annoying bratty kid characters. And we got the two cool mature characters here. And then the starting characters, I guess, are the bland ones. <laughs> I mean, my friend gave me a lot of shit in the past for giving shit to Xion, but... I'm, that was good alliteration there, too. I'm just going to bring that up real quick. But yeah, Shion is like... Apparently, she's got a lot of shit going on in her life where it's like, okay, you do kind of feel for her in a way. And Alfin's like... I don't know. I, I still think Alfin's like super fucking bland. My uh, other friend Sarah's like... I think she is super into uh, Alfin. I was just like, why? He's so bland. Oh, man. But whatever. I mean, I guess... I have my opinions of these characters. I think Dol Halim is the best. Oh, what's his ability? Let's see. Evades, perfect evades an enemy attack. His senses become heightened. His rod will gain momentum, extending his range. Oh, that's cool. Dude, actually, oh, he might be really fun to play as. I should switch over to him now. Oh, yeah, since they took away what's-her-face from me anyways. Oh, hold on. Let's hear about Kisara's disappearance. Oh, fucking no. To her house. To cry. Oh, should have. Break his knees. Eh. Ah, who knows? She, is she at the Goo Lake again? What are they going to do with the Goo Lake? Are they just going to leave that? Is it going to be like a memorial now? Or are they actually going to like drain it? Because I feel like it's probably not like healthy for the environment. <laughs> I feel like there's something... It just... I work with liquid caustic a lot. That shit gives me liquid caustic vibes. And for those that don't know, liquid caustic is just like... It looks like goopy water and it burns like a motherfucker. I would know because I've been burned by it so many times. And I'm the health and safety manager, so that doesn't speak too well. <laughs> but yeah. Um... You know, wear your PPE, I guess, if you're going to work with a dangerous chemical like that. What is my actual objective right now? Go to Vicent's Southern Gates. You know what? I, I feel like we could get to the Southern Gates and then everything will kind of, like, sort itself out. I think, yeah, that's that's got to literally be where I ended my previous playthrough of this game. So, yeah, we'll go over there. We'll trigger cutscene. We'll end the fucking episode. Everything will come out hunky-dory. It'll be great. Now I just got to figure out how to get the fuck out of the city. And I have no fucking clue. Oh? Yeah, I want to hear about... I want to hear what Dolly has to say. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, cool. I kind of thought you were going to... I really thought he was going to say something more, like, interesting. Like, oh, you came from Cislodia, huh? Oh, yeah. Um, I know this and this about the previous lord. Like, he's kind of a bitch. But nope. Nothing cool like that, I guess. All right. Oh my god, I love this city. I would love to live it. Well, I would love to live in Eldamen and Sia when it's not fucking under, like, turmoil between, like, racists and everybody. Yeah, how did she sneak by, too, with her big-ass fucking heavy armor? Yeah, actually, yeah, who's gonna run this place? Because Kelzalik was, like, the second-in-command. And who knows what other... Actually, you know what? I bet all the racist remnants have been run out because uh, they had a revolution that failed. Really didn't. Who's really gonna rule in this time when no one else is around? Maybe that'll come up. Maybe it'll get taken over by like another nation. The resurgence of Cislodia. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
That face didn't look like a half face. Oh. Oh. The, to the cat, huh? What? Did the cat? Okay. <laughs> I thought she was talking to the cat. I was so confused. She's like, wait, the cat speaks? I didn't remember that. It's like the one thing I missed. Hell yeah. No, Keith. <laughs> no. You can't just tell people. Wait, wasn't that the girl that was also kind of a bitch to her before? Where she's like, huh. I like your brother more than you do, and Kisara's like, I, he's my fucking brother, you weird psychotic bitch. God, get the fuck out of here. That's right, leave. She was literally nothing but kind just now, and I'm giving her shit based off of a maybe tr uh, memory. Hey, Kisara, it's uh, nice to see you here. Just wanted to see you one last time before he went. I wanted to leer at you one last time. Yes. We already got one, actually. We already filled our party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who is going to be in charge of everything? I'm so confused. God, that eye patch actually works really well for her. She looks so cool. That talking cat that I never knew about. And thinking is something I don't like to do. Please let me just join your crew and just hit shit without having to worry about, like, implications. Ah, oh, she looks so fucking cool. I love her. Yeah. Yeah, really, because, like, it's only a seven-year deal right now. I'm really wondering, like, how is this game going to end? Because I've, amazingly enough, managed to avoid spoilers for this game. And I'm really like, how the fuck is this going to end? Like, there's no way it can just work out well for the Danans. I mean, it's going to be that thing where it's like, they've made a big step towards progress, and then they'll just keep going from there and it'll be like a uphill battle but uh, you know eventually it'll be fine uh, man it's such a it it doesn't work out well but i'd love to see like some story piece that's like send this game like way after when things have like kind of gotten better or at least like at the start of when things are like actually getting better and the reason why i say it doesn't work out too well is because that's basically tales of symphonia dawn of a new world that game i heard did not really do that great but yeah yeah when, when she said the dream world i was thinking of sandman on netflix i was like wait what are we talking about the dreaming what uh -huh. no i don't care about you anymore now that i've had time to fucking What's the word? Consolidate? No, compartmentalize. That's it. Hell yeah. Nice. So nice that they're able to get along. I really... Honestly, I could have done with, like, maybe things were tense between them for a little longer. I mean, it's like... I don't know, though. Be fine. What's, well, what the fuck is that butterfly in the background? I guess we're all going crazy like that. It's okay, because we've capped out now. This is everybody on the team. Yeah, what's the next zone? Is that Mahogzar? Yeah. Ooh, Windtown. Let's fucking go. Alright. Nice. But yeah, with the tension back, like, I was like, oh, they could still have it between Dohalim and What's-Her-Face. They still have that tension with this girl, Rinwell and, uh, Shion. <laughs> About to fuck up her name again. But yeah. She, like, I think she's still super, like, not trusting of Shion, which is like, I guess that's fair. I don't know. Oh, Alfin's new sh uh, emblem. Okay, cool. I forgot all about this whole fucking emblem thing. Do I have a bunch of points I could be spending? Oh, shit. Oh god, now I have so many ones for Doholim. Come out, Wu Xing. What the fuck? He knows Wushu. Oh, the yeah, Okay, cool. Forgot I have all these DLC emblems too. Oh god, you have so many points. Oh god, everyone else is pretty manageable. There's so much I'll have to buy for him. But you know what? On that note, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So yeah, this has been a Gator Sniper playthrough. See you guys in the next one where I fucking step into brand new content. Let's fucking go later, everybody.